what? Oh, y'all, so we were called out to rekey a business with several doors on it. Customer only had one key that fit one of the doors. It's kind of like a warehouse type thing with several glass doors along the front. This fella apparently hadn't been opened in like 20 years according to the customer and it uses the old Armalite cylinders which were pretty much always a Yale Y1 keyway. So I'm gonna grab my diamond rake out which I always find to be the best one to use for paracentric keyways like the Y1. And, uh, got it lubed up and the core looks like it is turning a little bit okay so that's good that the core is not seized. I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple of rakes to see what happens here. And that iron bar is really in the way. I've kind of got a limited area to do this in but we got it pretty quick there. So I'm going to have to reposition to get the turn the rest of the way. Now the door is really tight. I really can't tell whether it some of those use the old telescopic bolt style locks, so uh, we can always spin it if we have to. So I'm going to give this a try, turning it the one way, and you can see the customer there sweeping the inside of the door. But I've got the pick in there like that because on those Yale keyways like that, when you turn it to the 180 degree position, the pins, top pins will drop down in the core and kind of lock it in place. Uh, wouldn't turn anymore it had a hard stop on it there so i know it's just a regular 1850 lock so i got to get the plug spinner out and we're going to put this at about a 10 o'clock position and crank my spinner the way that it needs to be got a modified tip on that guy so it slips in easier and get it down to right at the face make sure it's at about 10 o'clock and yay success I always love one spin job, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it the other way. And right, right there, the top pins have dropped down in the core, so I've got to get the pick back out and use the back of it to lift up the top pins while I'm turning it the rest of the way. Put my tools up and uh, go ahead and do that. I'm trying my best to kind of keep my hands out of the way, so I kind of have to keep moving moving my hands while I'm doing that. So you know, I'm just gonna readjust, get the pick in there, lift up the top pins and turn it. And I'm gonna kick the bottom of the door there so that it turns the rest of the way. And yay, we got it. And once I got it off the door, look at that, we have a broken wood screw. Thank you.